Hello, welcome to this overview of the Screaming Frog SEO Spider auditing tool. Very useful freemium tool for quickly analyzing the on-page information of a website. Useful for competitive analysis or if, like me in this case, you're looking to optimize one of your own websites, just enter the URL and it will crawl the page and it will return information. Now this website I'm looking at is actually in a partial uh, state of completion, not quite there yet. It's fully operational but it needs a few things doing to it for the benefit of the search engines. So if we take a look at the top level URL, we can highlight this row and as we scroll right, these columns present information about the page. So each page is getting a status 200 which means that they're all displaying correctly but there's one that's not been found now I've probably deleted the page but for whatever reason it seems to still be indexed so let's let's have a look at that so it's join so if I just put a forward slash and join we'll soon find out that it's actually not available so I probably need to go into my Google sitemap and remove that because at the moment Google I'm telling the search engines that it is indexed but clearly it's a 404 so it's a good thing I noticed that so let's go back up to the top top row and scroll right and you can see that the title I'm using of the main page the front page is Ilkeston railway station unofficial community discussion station news development and information and this is the result, Elkiston Railway Station, unofficial community discussion, and it gets truncated. That's because the title is too long to display in its entirety in the search engine result page. That's quite a common thing. And the meta description snippet is unofficial community discussion, news developments, da da da. Okay, and if we go into Screaming Frog and scroll right and then just expand this cell you can see that is indeed the meta description and in terms of character length it's it's 151 characters i think at the moment 170 is about the limit because as you know a lot of these snippets you know like you know this one here you can see that's been truncated so you're not really getting the whole story you know now you can see there's actually some gaps here i mean i think i'm actually missing the meta description for the contact page so that's something i probably want to get to work on and if i do go into my wordpress dashboard there you go page meta description and there's nothing there and there's also no keywords and not the keywords matter that much google tends to ignore them so if i come back here and let's just yep that's the right row contact I should put a meta description in there and I can probably put some keywords in there as well so we've got things also like H1 that's heading 1 and if you're wondering why Ilkeston railway station has been used for every single heading it's because I've built this particular website in WordPress and by default WordPress assigns a H1 heading into the, the the heading area so by default WordPress is built like that and that is why there's heading one on every single page and I've got heading two heading three and so on and so on so there's a few things here that really need to be changed because there are big gaps it's kind of like the Death Star <laughs> I mean there's no security threat but you know um, aesthetically that it, it just looks you know half done half baked now you can export this data if you want to click export and you can choose what kind of file you want to download I'm going to choose Excel workbook and I'll click Save it's writing the report so that's been downloaded to the desktop. Looks a bit of a mess to begin with, doesn't it? And what you've got to do is you've got to spend some time 
making some of these a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to look at. Anyway, I did make one earlier because I don't want you to sit through this video watching me format a spreadsheet. <laughs> Unless that floats your boot, I don't know. Anyway, I did this earlier on and I've made it a bit easier to to read. And I suggest you do the same. So you can download the Excel spreadsheet and you can get the information about your website and you can print it off or you could send it off to a team member. What I recommend you do is, is create a dedicated spreadsheet and you can just put in the information that you actually need. I don't really need to know about the H2 length. I mean, some of it is incredibly anally retentive, but you know, okay, so you might want to know what the H2 you know length is, but I don't think that's important. I don't even think that the word count is that important. So I've created my own spreadsheet and what I'll do is I'll just transplant the most important information into this spreadsheet. So do check it out. Screaming Frog, SEO Spider. Why is it a spider? Well search engine spiders are little pieces of software which go out online collecting information and then going back to HQ to tell the search engines is what we found. And the analogy I like to use is that it's a bit like those flying monkeys in the Wizard of Oz. They go out to collect intel, then they return to base. I suppose I'm saying Google is evil, <laughs> as if. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.